Oscar winner Charlize Theron has pretty much done it all over her 25-year acting career. For over 25 years, Charlize Theron has proven herself to be one of the best and brightest performers working in Hollywood today. A versatile talent who has established herself in various genres, including drama, action, comedy, and more. That's certainly the case with her last movie, The Old Guard, in which she plays a centuries-old immortal warrior. So, let's look at Charlie's Theron Top 10 Movies. Number 10. Long Shot, 2019. Fred Flersky is a gifted and free-spirited journalist who was a knack for getting into trouble. Charlotte Phil is one of the most influential women in the world, a smart, sophisticated, and accomplished politician. Charlotte, I would like to endorse you to be the next president of the United States. Oh my God. You've been a great secretary. Of state. Which state again? All of them. Kind of know her. It's like kind of knowing a mermaid. Do you tell people that? She probably doesn't remember who I am. Secretary Field would like to speak with you. With me? I get this feeling that we know each other. We do. We do? Picture me, I guess, maybe like 20 years younger, but like this. Number nine, The Old Guard, 2020. A group of missionaries all centuries old immortals with the ability to heal themselves discover someone is onto their secret and they must fight to protect their freedom. Would you like me to take one for you? Oh, thank you so much. There you go. Thank, thank you. you. Are extraordinary individuals. They are extremely resistant to capture. They're going to lock us up and weaponize us. But they've never faced an army like ours. An army of five. Shit, let's start a band. Number eight, Prometheus, 2012. The discovery of a clue to mankind's origins on Earth's leads, a team of explorers to the darkest parts of the universe. Two brilliant young scientists lead to the expedition. Shaw hopes that they will meet a race of benevolent, godlike beings who will, in some way, verify her religious beliefs, while Hollowly is out to debug any spiritual notions. Are you here to file a report? No. I'm not. I'm really not in the mood for coffee. It's a good thing it's rum, then. Number seven, Atomic Blonde, 2017. Sensual and savage, Lauren Broughton is the most allied spy in N16. An agent who's willing to use all of her lethal skills to stay alive during an impossible mission. Is this your first time in Berlin? Yes. Well, it's a remarkable time to be here. Wonderful music, superb nightlife, marvelous restaurants. You must try the central cafe for a drink. You'll need it later. You remember Mr. Bremovich, don't you? Number six, the Yurts, the thousand. After serving time in prison for taking the fall for a group of his friends, Leo just wants to get his life back on track. Number 5. Tally, 2018. Marlowe is a New York subordinate who's about to give birth to her child. Her husband, Ron, is loving and works hard, but remains clueless about the demands that motherhood puts on his wife. When the baby is born, Marlowe's wealthy brother hires a nighttime nanny named Tully to help his sister handle the workload. You're convinced that you're this failure, but you actually made your biggest dream come true. If you want to run off or something, I get that. Because I want to do that too sometimes, but I'm not gonna. I'm here to help you with everything. 
You can't fix the parts without treating the whole. Yeah, no one's treated my whole in a really long time. <laughs> Number four, North Country, 2005. Single mother Josie Amos is part of a group of the first women to work at a local iron mine in Minorsta. Offended and they have to work with women, male workers at 11th mines lash out at them and subject them to sexual harassment. You don't go to work scared of what they're going to write about you on the walls or what kind of disgusting thing you might find in your locker. Keep your mouth shut and take it like a man. He attacked me. Bob, you lay hand on her? The answer's no. I want to sue the mine, the company, all of them. You can't win. None of those women will take your side. Whether you win or lose, you stand up. Number 3. Bombshell, 2019. The provocative real story of three whim smart, ambitious, strong women who encourage one of the America's most powerful news networks, becoming headlines themselves when they risked everything to stand up to the man who made them famous. Why didn't she complain, really? He means the anonymous hotline. There's, There's a hotline? hotline? Yeah. I did the harassment seminar twice. I never heard about a hotline. Because it's bullshit. They have a contractual right to monitor our communications. A hotline in this building is like a complaint box in occupied Paris. It's like we're telling women, go on, speak up for yourself. Just know the entire network is with Roger. No one. Number two, Monster, 2003. Shortly after moving to Florida, longtime prostitute Aline Vornis meets young and reserved Shelby Wall and a romance blossoms. When a John attempts to brutalize Aline, she kills him and resolves to give up prostitution. I just like to settle first, you know? Lee, who killed that man? Who do you think? You can't kill people. Settle. People kill each other every day. I think that all these people just didn't know yet who I was going to be. But one day, They'd all see. Number one, Mad Max, Furry Road, 2015. Haunted by his turbulent past, Mad Max believes the best way to survive is to wander alone. Nevertheless, he becomes swept up with the group feelings across the wasteland in a war rig driven by the allied imperator, Ferocia. Number two, 